You're too late, Sith. I already transmitted the conversation between you and Commander Rylon to the Jedi Council. Noman Kar has his proof. Now Master Kar and his Padawan will track down and expose every Sith agent in the galaxy. I'll let you enjoy your delusions. Enjoyment is not part of the equation. I have purity of purpose. I seek neither thrills nor satisfaction. Unlike you, I am calm. How incredibly boring. Living an enlightened life is anything but boring. The dark side shall fail you, Sith. Save yourself, surrender, and the Jedi Council will give you every opportunity to discover redemption. Save your breath, Jedi. You're going to need it. Attack me and I will kill you. <laughs> Your victory means nothing. The damage has been done. The proof has been transmitted. So deal the death blow, Sith. I am at peace, knowing that the greater good has been served. I hate to burst your bubble, Jedi. No, that's a lie. I'm reveling in it. I intercepted your transmission. The Jedi know nothing. Your failure is complete. How do you feel now? Gloat all you like. It means nothing. I remain at peace. And Noman Kar and his Padawan will still defeat you. They will fall just as you have fallen. I face my end, knowing what is true. I am resigned. Strike me down. I offer no further resistance. I will savor your destruction. There is no death. There is the Force. How bizarre. She just closed her eyes and accepted death. Sheer idiocy. No matter. The threat is ended. Lord Barris will be anxious to learn what became of this. When you're ready, I'll contact him from my office. I'm anxious to get off this planet. Excellent. I'll go prepare. I'll be waiting in my barracks. It's not my place, Lord Barris. I leave that for your apprentice to convey. Then step aside, Lieutenant. My apprentice has arrived. Nice of you to join us. Quinn refuses to update me, insisting the privilege be yours. I assume the Jedi investigator has been stopped. She is dead, Master. That is a relief. I had hoped to avoid confronting the Jedi, but our hand was forced. What matters most is that Rylon can no longer be exposed. And how would you assess Lieutenant Quinn's contribution? He did his part. Lieutenant, my apprentice's demeanor notwithstanding, I have been impressed with your efforts. You have more than made up what is owed to me. I'm putting you up for a captaincy and transmitting an executive order allowing you to station wherever you choose. You are dismissed. Thank you, Lord Barris. If my actions benefit the Empire, they benefit me. I would have done the same regardless of our past. My Lord, before I depart, it's been my extreme honor to serve you. You are the epitome of everything the Empire stands for. Thank you for noticing, Quinn. Until we meet again, I salute you, my Lord. He will have his hands full. There are powerful Imperials dedicated to keeping him down. But if Quinn can overcome them and rise to the station he deserves, there is great hope for our Imperial allies. Can we get on with our business? You are quite right, Apprentice. Quinn's fate is of small consequence compared to our affairs. Your presence on Balmora is no longer needed. Return to your ship when you're ready to leave. I'll contact you there. So, we're leaving, right? On to our next exercise in domination and destruction? It would seem so, Vet. Well, I hope the next place we end up has a beach. My lord, I hope you don't find my appearance here obtrusive. I beg an audience. Begging does not become an officer. Pardon my word choice, my lord. I will speak plainly. As you know, Lord Barris enabled my reassignment anywhere I choose. 
It is an evolution I've longed for and assumed would never come. Aiding your mission on this planet has reawakened the ambition I began my career with to make the most profound impact possible for the Empire. Good luck with that. I don't want to leave it to luck, my lord. I cannot think of a more glorious and honorable way to make a difference in the galaxy than to serve you. I'm here to pledge myself to you. I'm ready and willing to serve in whatever capacity you see fit. What exactly can you do, Captain? Who cares what he can do? I could use some help around here. There are some things only you can do for me, Vet. My lord, if given the chance, I know I will prove myself to you. I'm a top-notch pilot, military strategist, and a deadly shot. I can fly this ship, plan your battles, assess your enemies, and kill them. You won't find a more tireless and loyal subject. I offer my military prowess and dedicate every ounce of my strength to your cause. All right, I'll find something for you to do. An opportunity is all I ask. Thank you, my lord. I will submit my reassignment papers as we depart. Prentice, I see you are ready to put Balmora behind you. Good. The elimination of Commander Rylon grants security to my spy network, but there is still more to be done. Have you ever heard of Noc Drayen? Pirate. Terrified the criminal world for a few decades. He destroyed the Wrath Cartel and the Vandalhelm Combine in some giant power grab. Same guy? Yeah, same guy. Weird to think of him that way. Noctrain was the most famous killer in the galaxy. But he set me free. I was still slaving it up for three eyes when he crossed Nock. Or maybe he just had something Nock wanted. I never did ask. Did any of the gang survive the encounter? You mean anyone that wasn't owned as property? No, they did not. I'm still not sure how Nock got his speeders into the camp. One minute they weren't there, and then they were. He was ruthless, but not a thug, you know? Sort of a pirate prince. Freed all the slaves, and told them they could join up, or go their own way. I assume you saw the opportunity for plunder, and seized it. Well, I wasn't gonna go wander off on whatever waste of a planet we were on. I was the smallest on the crew, and mining had taught me to fit in tight spaces. Nox crew showed me how to steal. For a long time, I didn't feel bad about stealing. So much had been taken from me. Even the small action of taking gave you control of your life. That is everything. Well, it's a long time ago anyway. Let's get back to work, yeah? You wish to speak? Yes, my lord. I wanted to update you on the condition of your ship. It has responded extremely well to my optimizations. I'm pleased to report that we are operating at peak efficiency. I'm glad to hear it. Keep up the good work. I fully intend to, my lord. Your demeanor makes me tense, Captain. Work on loosening up. I see. Actually, my lord, I don't see. Is that an order, or are you testing my professionalism? You're a lost cause. Never mind. Sorry to have disappointed you. My lord, I have settled into my quarters and fully acquainted myself with the ship. I am at your disposal. I'm not sure what to do with you, Quinn. I volunteer for any and all duties, my lord. I hope you'll find my military acumen useful. And I am completely familiar with this vessel and can both navigate and pilot. You'll have to prove yourself, Captain. I'm ready, my lord. Permission to speak freely, my lord. You may always speak freely, Quinn. I'll keep that in mind. There's a reason I was languishing on Balmora before you arrived. A decade ago, I served under Moff Broisk at the Battle of Druckenwell. Moff Broisk made a critical oversight that brought the fleet to the brink of complete defeat. 
I ignored his order and turned the tide to victory. Then you are to be commended. That's not how the moth saw it. Broisk took credit for the reversal, which is fine. But then he court-martialed me. Darth Barris assigned me to Balmora or my career would have been over. Moff Broisk has blocked every transfer and promotion I've been up for since. It must have served Barris to keep you on Balmora. Clearly he was capable of advancing you. Well, I... I suppose you're right. But I was grateful to be wearing the uniform and helping an important Sith. I serve you now, I have no regrets. I'll return to my duties. Apprentice, I see you've landed on Nar Shaddaa. It is, I'm afraid, the armpit of the galaxy. Must be your kind of place, Barris. In my youth, perhaps. Nar Shaddaa is a planet of frivolity and distraction. Gambling, spice, rampant black market and gang territory disputes. But you are there to eliminate my spy, Agent Delicon. Normally it would be a trifling task. But Delicon has acquired a powerful ally. Surely this person wouldn't dream of defying you. He seems to relish it. Agent Delicon's new benefactor is a young Sith Lord named Rothari, an upstart who openly disrespects my methods. Rothari prefers a more blunt approach. The Dark Council has granted him dominion over Sith interests on Nar Shaddaa. What possessed the Council to do such a thing? Rathari has been effective at ingratiating himself to the Council. Agent Delicon knows much about my organization. I cannot have Rathari in possession of such a resource. Burn Rathari to the ground. Destroy everything he's working for. And kill Agent Delicon. I see you're not averse to overkill. This kind of defiance cannot be tolerated. Haladrel Setson runs my slave operation on Nar Shaddaa. She has been a valued operative for many years. She is ready to receive you and can fill you in on Rathari's movements and interests. That is all. You have a flair for dramatic entrances. I probably could have handled that, but uh, I'm grateful for your timing. You're the apprentice Darth Barris prepped for me, yes? You figured it out. The obvious is my specialty. That's why I keep petitioning the Darth for a raise. Halidrell sets in. So you're here to take out Lord Rathari. Won't be easy. He usually just appears, devastates, then disappears. You'll have to draw him out. He's been making some major power plays, and disrupting them will get his attention. Sounds like a plan. Barris trusts me for a reason. First, Rathari's been strong-arming the Hutt cartel. From what I hear, they're close to signing over some important territories to him. He and his apprentice Girik are in conference with the Huts at Cartel Headquarters. If you burst in... Rathari would be none too pleased. Neither would the Huts. The Cartel is an Imperial ally. Rathari can't just beat on them. He has to play diplomat. Unfortunately, the same applies for you. If things turn violent between you and the Huts, better if there's no one left to identify you. I'll do my best to keep the peace with our allies. The other possibility won't carry as many restraints. When all this intrigue is over and Rathari is a memory, maybe we can get to know each other better. We'll see if I'm in the mood. If killing a Sith Lord doesn't make you feel social, not much will. I've got a shipment of slaves to send out, but I'll be here if you need me. Good luck, my lord. You would be wise to bend to the great Lord Rathari's will. Sign over the specified territories before he loses his patience. <laughs> I am your other choice. I'll tell you who this is. This is the apprentice of an over-the-hill Sith named Darth Barras. Yes, that's right. My master and I anticipated your arrival. Have you also anticipated your doom? I'm here to make sure the cartel doesn't become Rathari's pawn. I urge you to stand aside and watch me dispatch this pretender. 
You act as if you don't know how easily I could kill you. Mana mana, you eda iki to kuluko charatrodo. Uda gunda dan goe gunda. Pan muidang bama. You talk big for someone so obviously small. Bona naikacho, ne toto boga. Then rulen ji hola kuta slemo. Fine. I'll unburden us of this intruder, but then you'd better sign on the dotted line. Impossible. Lord Rathari will still be you and your master's downfall. Your master will be as dead as you soon enough. She do need pitoki, say to be no naviti. Oh, wala wanga, tuske you wala wa, da blota wijawa. The animal is about to be put down. Go pata gimawata to suya, mi kudyono postan mol roya. Ninga yinga kichita, mini kanu ayayu kewe kuta. Word spread through the streets that Rathari's conference with the huts was invaded and his apprentice killed. Seems like you missed your calling as a diplomat. The huts are in a holding pattern to see what comes of your challenge. It's too bad Rathari wasn't in attendance, but man, I bet he's fuming. I'm sure our message was heard loud and clear. Rathari is also on the verge of taking over the Republic's base of operations in the upper industrial sites. With his work with the cartel dashed, he's sure to pour himself into squashing the Republic garrison. I will be there soon. Even if Rathari isn't there, when his operations are all thwarted, I know he'll come to you. A confrontation will be inevitable. Men, fall back. Rally here. My lord, what is the meaning of this? We are on the verge of striking a major blow to the Republic. I am General Clinton, commanding on the authority of Sith Lord Rathari, appointed to Narshadar by the Dark Council. Why do you attack the Empire's men? Where is your master hiding? He is attending to other matters. You belong to Darth Barras. I was given instructions to destroy you if you were foolish enough to show your face here. You'd be wise to ignore those instructions. No, I think not. You are surrounded, and we far outnumber you. Full attack! <laughs> Sir, the Sith's strength has been spent obliterating our enemy. We should strike while there's a chance. After that display, Weglin, I believe fighting should be our last resort. Stay back and cover me. Sith, I am Commander Nolan. I'm in charge of this defensive. I'm unarmed. You risk much approaching me weaponless. I doubt that a blaster would save me. We do not wish a fight, but we also cannot relinquish this area. What are your terms? You live only by my good grace. I may have need of you someday, and you will repay my mercy. Very well. If your mission does not conflict with Republic interests, I pledge to help you. Here is my hollow frequency. I will answer your call. You have my word. Until we meet again, Sith. Men, the battle is ended. Attend to the wounded. My lord, my base! My base is under attack! The last of my men and I are holed up in the command center! But the doors are about to give! I'll be right there, Haladrell. Try to hold on. Do the best I can! But I... I've got a bad feeling about this! Ah! The command center's been breached! I've never seen such power. Oh no.
it's clear Darth Barris failed to inform you exactly who you'd be crossing. This demonstration should make up for that deficiency. You want Agent Delicon. You want me. I won't be hard to find anymore. I'm on the roof of the satellite platform in network access. If you dare show, I will grant you a duel to the death. Be honored. <laughs> He's a moron if he thinks we're gonna walk into such an obvious ambush. Right? You can stay and hide here if you're afraid. Not afraid, just wanna be smart. Hey, what about calling that Republic commander guy you saved before? He owes you. I had a feeling you'd call, Sith. Can't say I'm looking forward to this. I'm about to give you the opportunity for glory few have seen. The destruction of a Sith Lord. That's unexpected. You've definitely piqued my interest. The soldier pays his debts. Tell me what must be done. Lord Rathari, I presume. Finally, we come face to face. Ah, you showed. You lack your master's caution. I applaud that. Delacon, Barris's lackey is here. So, say your piece, and do it before I kill this would-be assassin. Barris is insane and paranoid. I was a faithful servant, and my cover was intact. If you expect me to accept being murdered for reassurance, just wait for death. Come, speak with Barris. Perhaps he'll listen to reason. Do you think I'm stupid? Not a chance. Delicon and everything he knows of your master's operations are mine now. In a hundred years, when I am legendary within the Sith, your and Barris's deaths at my hands will not even be a footnote. However, I would never lower myself to duel a mere apprentice such as you. You haven't earned the honor. I marked you as a coward the moment I saw you. Ha! You cannot goad me into it, worm. These men are my elite guard, trained to take on Sith. Half of them could kill you, but I don't like to play favorites. In that case, I'll destroy them all. Now, men, attack! So, you brought your own army to the fight. Even better, kill everyone! I yield. Never have I witnessed such raw power. The day and the planet are yours. I freely pass the scepter. The threat Delicon posed to you and your master has died with him. I hope it ingratiates me in some way. I was looking forward to doing that myself. You are above such trifling tasks. Let others like myself do such deeds for you. It's clear to me now. Someday you will rise above your master. It is you, not I, who will be Darth Barris's end. Grant me mercy, so I may live to see it. Honor me with some small hand in it. Death is the only honor you've earned. Then, make it swift. All right, Sith. Now no one's left but you and me and my men. Your objective has been met. May we go. You had better be right. All right, men. You heard the Sith. Let's get back to our neck of the woods. <sighs> Glad this is finally over. Maybe we can go back to the ship and get off this rock, huh? You haven't enjoyed Narshadarvet? What's to enjoy? So dark and scummy? Ugh. Gives me the creeps. I just can't wait to get back to my quarters and grab some shut-eye. You 
have done well, my apprentice. Telecom eliminated and Lord Rathari dispelled. This will be a day long remembered. The loss of Haladron Sitson is unfortunate, but the ends far justify the means. She served you honorably, Master. I had a soft spot for her as well. You have successfully eliminated both of my compromised agents. The time has come to set our sights on Noman Carr and his gifted Padawan. It seems our adversary is of like mind. Your efforts have not gone unnoticed. Noman Carr has been busy. Stop being so cryptic and tell me what's happened. Use that tone sparingly with me, apprentice. Consider this a warning. It appears your ship is being tracked. A very sophisticated sensor is reporting your every movement. I've traced the signal to a spaceport in a sector not far from you. I'm sure Noman Carr is involved. Send me to this spaceport. Perhaps Carr is there, and I can end this. Noman Carr is a master of the Jedi arts. Do not take him lightly. I've sent the coordinates to your mainframe. Head there immediately, dock with the station, and make a lasting impression. My lord, I have been working on something in my spare time. You may be interested. Let me be the judge of that. Right away. Years ago, I was zeroing in on a notorious SIS agent called Voleran, when Moff Broisk recalled me to the Battle of Druckenwell. I had the spy cornered. I briefed Broisk so that he could send someone else to take Voleran out. He ignored the opportunity. This Moff is starting to sound like a chronic screw-up. That is not for me to determine. I will say this, though. Since then, Voleran has gone on to wreak havoc against the Empire. One missed opportunity has led to a decade of unnecessary losses. I know Voleran's signature. And by tracking his accomplishments, I've picked up his scent. Follow your little Imperial pursuits as you see fit. I'll keep you abreast of my progress. What does family mean to you? I mean, does it have to be the people you're actually related to? Bloodlines are what define us. That is family. I don't know. Maybe. I suppose my mother and sister will always be the most important. When I was working for Noctrayan, doing the pirate thief thing, he had a daughter my age, Risha. It wasn't like Nock was super sweet to her or anything. But he'd call her princess, and I wished I was her. Having someone your own age could be great or terrible, depending. It was great. Always great. Risha was smart and strong. She knew how to do everything around the ship. And I went everywhere with her. Suddenly I had a sister again. For years it was Risha and me against the galaxy and anyone who gave us grief. Memories of the best times in life are treasures later in life. Who are you and what did you do with the Sith I know? Eventually, Nock hatched some secret plan that I couldn't be a part of. One that apparently got them both killed. But for a while there, I really was happy. <sighs> Enough of that. 